Hi, it's Dr. Nick Ramon, Endocrinology and Metabolism, on my way to work before all hell breaks loose. Listen, so if patients have testosterone therapy and management, and if they, you push your testosterone therapy quite aggressively, a couple of things will happen. Number one, you will get thickening of your blood because continuous stimulation of testosterone on the bone marrow and also on the kidney causes exaggeration and production of excess red blood cell. This excess red blood cell causes blood to become thick, hyperviscous. So imagine thick motor oil versus thin motor oil. Which is easier to flow? Of course, the thin motor oil is easier to flow. Now you've got thick blood, and thick blood increases the viscosity. That viscosity puts more pressure on the heart, the vascular system, and subsequently, that can increase the risk of stroke and clotting. Yes, excess testosterone. At the same time, body recognizes that, like, wait a minute, why do we have so much testosterone? Through fat metabolism, fat conversion through an aromatase conversion converts testosterone excess into estrogen. Excess estrogen is not good for you guys, trust me. You're gonna get moody, you're gonna get uncomfortable, you start to lose your hair, you may even develop breast tissue. You don't want breast tissue, yes. We like breast tissues on women, but not on guys, because breast tissues on guys are not, not attractive. The problem is they become very painful, and after that, they have to be surgically corrected. You really cannot do push-ups and pull-ups and weight loss. You can't get rid of breast tissue that easily in guys. So therefore, you don't want to overshoot the testosterone. And last but not least, you can increase the size of your prostate. Yes, you can increase the size of your prostate. So therefore, too much of anything is bad, okay? If you get too much testosterone, you're gonna get side effects. Make sure you're under the supervision of a trained expert, or an endocrinologist, or someone who knows how these metabolism and these drugs work, because continuous stimulation through testosterone injections, may it, may it be subcutaneously or intramuscularly, cause a continuous stimulation to the bone marrow and also the kidneys. When testosterone is produced by your body naturally, it's not a continuous stimulation. It is an on and off stimulation. That's why guys do not develop thick blood, enlargement of the prostate, estrogen conversions, because it's not continuous. It is a pulsatile stimulation that happens high dose in the morning, some in the afternoon, and some in the evening. It is not continuous, and that's why we need to mimic the continuous. No, we need to mimic what? the pulsatile mention of testosterone in order to avoid the complications. And that's why people run into trouble with this. I hope this answers your question, which keeps coming up quite frequently. Thank you.